get the vitamins. The Fountain of Youth could be here in this village where people routinely live into their 90s, never sick a day in their lives. Cancer, Alzheimer's, even wrinkles are rare and no one seems to worry about their health. What's their secret? It tastes like a bamboo shoot. Not bad. But can you get the same benefits in a pill? Connie Chung with Secrets from the Village of Long Life. So how would you like to be 100 years old without any aches or pains, without disease or without any sign of dementia? Sounds pretty good. And believe it or not, there is a place where that might be possible. Connie Chung has found it and went to pay a visit. This is Yuzurihara, Japan, a small mountainous village two hours outside of Tokyo. Hidden in these hills may just be the secret to a long, healthy life. Tadano Takahashi believes he knows the secret. And who could argue with him? After all, he's 93 years old. At this village karaoke party, there are plenty more who believe in this secret. Yuzurihara is a place where 90-year-olds are practically commonplace, and where more than 10% of the population is 85 or older. That's 10 times our national norm. What is not common is disease. Cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's are virtually unheard of here. Do you ever remember being sick? No, I do not. Mr. Takashi, I can't help but notice that you're smoking. How long have you been smoking? I've been smoking since I was 25. Mr. Takahashi, has anyone said to you you really ought to quit smoking? No one has told me that. Even the doctors have no reason to tell me to stop smoking because I've never had anything wrong with my lungs. And Mr. Takahashi is not alone. His neighbor goes through a pack and a half a day. I've been smoking for 60 years. I've never even thought about quitting. A local doctor who still practices is 80, as is the local innkeeper. But neither look or act like senior citizens. Nor do these ball players. The average age of this group is 82. This village may look like just an average Japanese town, but some medical researchers believe it may actually hold the key to the fountain of youth. They discovered that people here routinely live into their 90s and beyond, rarely have any reason to go see a doctor, and somehow have managed to prevent even their skin from aging. What's behind this secret phenomenon? Is it something in the villagers' genes? Or maybe it's the low-stress lifestyle here. Japanese researchers think it's more than that. They believe the longevity here is tied to potatoes. Potatoes? Unlike most parts of Japan where rice is the staple of the diet, potatoes rule here. Generations ago, villagers discovered they were easier to plant in the hilly terrain. And this doctor thinks they are the key to longevity here. His name is Toyosuke Komori. And for 60 years, he studied the people in Yuzuri Hara. He himself adopted the local diet, which consists of very little meat, but a lot of homegrown sticky starches and vegetables. I feel very strongly that if I had not come here to Yuzuri Hara, I would not have lived this long and healthy a life. I probably would have died from some adult disease. It is Dr. Komori's theory that what the villagers eat gives them an abundance of a substance called hyaluronic acid, more than most of us have in our bodies. HA, as it is called, is something we're all born with but lose as we get older. In our bodies, HA enables cells to retain moisture. It keeps our joints lubricated and our skin smooth and elastic. The same qualities Dr. Komori finds in these spry, smooth-skinned villagers. I have never seen anyone suffer from skin cancer here. I have seen a woman in her 90s with a spotless skin. Mr. Takahashi attributes his smooth skin, even after working 50 years in the sun, to sticking to the local traditional diet. The skin on his arms felt like a baby's, and the skin on his legs barely had a wrinkle. Some of what Mr. Takahashi eats is on the menu every day at a hotel in Yuzuri Hara. The innkeeper, Mrs. Ishii, is 80 and looks pretty good herself. 
She offers us a variety of local vegetables and starches that are the backbone of the diet here. Obviously, all of us want to know what this food tastes like, right? Well, here it goes. Uh, this is the sticky potato. Tastes like a normal potato. A little bland, though. This is a root vegetable that's made into a jelly, dipping it in soy sauce. Oh, that's awful. This is miso. It's a soybean paste. Mmm, very pungent. I don't think you'd like this. So the question is, if this is the ticket to longevity, would you eat it every day? I don't think so. To get around that, one of Japan's leading pharmaceutical companies is trying to say it doesn't take a village to live longer. They are putting HA in pills, which in Japan sell for about $25 for a month's supply. The company tested the pills on a thousand people. Roughly half reported smoother skin, less fatigue, and better eyesight. But we kept asking ourselves, just how real is this? We studied 18 hours. So we traveled to Great Britain, where HA experts, respected scientists, and physicians from 23 countries gathered to discuss the marvels of HA. Western medicine is just beginning to understand the full potential of HA. For years, HA has been used in eye surgery as a shock absorber to protect the retina. In a gel form, HA is proven effective in lubricating arthritic joints. And its ability to restore moisture and elasticity to tissues is a big reason why cosmetic companies have put HA in moisturizers for years. But these scientists believe that the most dramatic discoveries of HA's healing powers are just around the corner. Discussions here focused on HA's ability to regenerate the cells in our bodies. Here in the United States, doctors have been giving hyaluronic acid to patients since 1997. But the HA is not in a pill. It's in a syringe. The FDA-approved product is called Synvisc. So we're going to do the left knee. Dr. David Altchek, a leading orthopedic surgeon, says in some cases, the HA injections have delayed the need for patients to undergo radical knee replacement surgery. You're going to feel a pinch and then pressure. The results can be astonishing in terms of reducing the symptoms, improving their quality of life. At the New Jersey firm, Biometrics, HA is extracted from, are you ready for this? Chicken combs. Strangely, the mohawk crown on a chicken's head is chock full of hyaluronic acid. The combs are washed, sliced, and purified in an extremely sterile environment. But if you doubt that it's the diet keeping these Japanese villagers young, consider this. Since Western-style junk food infiltrated Yuzurihara a few years ago, heart disease here has doubled, creating what the Japanese call the upside-down death pyramid, in which adults die before their parents. 91-year-old Fuji Shiratori has outlived two of her six children. Although my children ate what I had been eating while they were young and lived here, but when they moved away, they chose to eat differently. The stone tablet at the entrance to Yuzurihara proclaims it to be the village of long life. It would be impossible to conclude that the phenomenon here is just a matter of diet alone. The elderly here follow a time-honored blueprint for good health. Exercise, low stress, and a healthy diet. An overall lifestyle that cannot be bottled. But if someday it can be proven that their longevity is a result of an abundance of HA in their system, well, maybe, just maybe, there's hope for the rest of us. I assume that I should have come here when I was a teenager to start eating the diet in order to enjoy the fountain of youth that you're enjoying. Is that correct? No, it's not too late. Therefore, if you practice the secret you learn here, I'm sure that you could live a very long time. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Tim O'Shea. Today we're going to talk about hydrolyzed collagen. Hydrolyzed collagen is part of the 60-day program 
which you may have read about on the website. So first of all, let's ask, what is collagen? Well, collagen is the largest and most abundant protein in our bodies. It makes up virtually everything. It makes up your arteries, your joints, all the structures of your joints, including the joint capsule, the tendons, the ligaments. Your organs are made of collagen. Your heart, your lungs, your kidney, your liver, all those organs are made of collagen. Your muscles are made of collagen as well. Your skin is collagen. Your digestive tract is made from collagen. As I said, your tendons and ligaments are made of collagen, as is your heart itself. Yes, the lungs. So virtually all the parts of our body, the ground substance, the structural material is collagen. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. Your bones are made of collagen primarily as well. Now what happens as we age, collagen becomes weaker. It becomes less substantial as we age. And some signs of this that we may notice are as we age, our skin and our muscles begin to have this floorward tendency. They begin to sag. Doctors call this tendency ptosis. And you, you may notice that you have sagging skin at your triceps area uh, or your skin muscles begin to sag. And the reason for this is that collagen production falls off. It diminishes as we age. Now this idea of sagging is also evident in a lot of our organs as well. The colon has a tendency to sag. Women often have prolapsed uterus, weakening of the organ due to decreased collagen production as we age. Here we see a picture of a turkey neck. You see a lot of people as they age, they get what's called turkey neck, you know, the sagging skin, the loose skin under the neck. That's due to diminished collagen production as we age. Crow's feet is another example of that. Uh, some people who have knee problems will notice that they'll, they'll go in for an x-ray and they'll notice that the meniscus is gone in the knees. The, the meniscus, of course, is the disc that should be located in the knee between the top bone and the bottom bones. That may wear out as we age or in the case of overuse, which many athletes will experience. The term is bone on bone. That's due to a collagen deficiency. It's due to a collagen decrease over time. So then what is hydrolyzed collagen as a supplement? That's the next uh, question that we have to ask. Doctors have discovered several years ago there is a way to make up for this natural decrease in collagen production, and that is through dietary supplementation. We have hydrolyzed collagen. Now I'll explain what that is. This is a supplement. It, it's a powder, and it is made from a very high grade of gelatin. Gelatin is a very commonly used uh, product that is we see in a lot of areas of industry, in the food industry, in the canning industry, and the pharmaceutical industry. In, in the pharmaceutical industry, most capsules are made of gelatin. In the supplement industry, most capsules are made of gelatin. Recently, only in the past 10 or 15 years, they have discovered how to take this ordinary gelatin product that we've been using for all these decades and to turn it into something very high-end, very refined, into a very small molecule, very useful supplemental form of gelatin called hydrolyzed collagen. It looks like this, it's just a white powder. It's 83% protein, 15% water, 2% minerals. The hydrolyzed collagen also contains virtually all the essential human amino acids, all 20 of them. Here are a few of those amino acids. You might have learned these in school, but who, who cares? You know that as humans, we need about 20 amino acids to be active in our bodies in order for normal protein. Specifically with the hydrolyzed collagen food supplement, they figured out a way to make these protein molecules from the original gelatin into very, very small molecules, very, very small peptides, and this process is known as hydrolysis. So that's why it's called hydrolyzed collagen. It's how we split the protein molecules into very, very small components. Now what I discovered when I first started studying hydrolyzed collagen as a food supplement several years ago, that the size of most commercial collagens that you'll see in health stores 
or maybe in your gym you'll see collagen products for sale or protein products for sale. What I discovered was the smaller the molecule, the more absorbable the food supplement is.